Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Bill Potts live here at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. It is Dolphin Awareness Month, and we're here with one of our resident dolphins, ah, Nicholas cute. and Cammy. <laughs> yes, guys. Nicholas is adorable. <laughs> so we're going to learn about Nicholas and about dolphins. So, Cammy, yes, Bill. What is Nick's rescue story? So his rescue story um, starts in December twenty fourth, two thousand and two. Um, he was rescued on the shores of Tampa Bay. <laughs> and he had stranded alongside of his mother, Noelle. Now they were out of the water for quite some time and you guys can see that Nicholas has some scarring um, on his back, starting from his melon, which is his forehead, all the way down to his dorsal fin. And that is as a result of being out of the water for quite some time, the boy. But what do, uh, what do dolphins eat? I can, I can take a guess right here. Well, he likes to eat fish and lots of it. Nicholas eats about 20 pounds of restaurant quality fish every day. Is uh, our dolphins mammals, Cammy? He is 100% mammal. <laughs> <laughs> they are mammals. Um, and a couple ways that you can tell that he's a mammal. A little known fact is that dolphins are born with hair. So if you get real close, you'll see where he had his mustache. He had tiny little whiskers when he was born and they fell out a couple days or a couple weeks afterwards um, leaving behind those hair follicles. And now the cutest part of being a mammal for dolphins is the belly button. They are born live just like we are. Attach their moms with an umbilical cord. So those two I think are the cutest characteristics of being a mammal that we can show you. Cammy, how do dolphins communicate? Well, they communicate lots of different ways. Um, commonly, you'll hear clicks and whistles that they can emit from their foreheads and melons or their blowholes. And um, they can also communicate um, using their body language. How do they use their pectoral flippers? Well, pectoral flippers um, do have bones in them, so they can move them. If you look down, you can see his flippers moving right now. Um, but they typically use their flippers to stop and steer. How about their tail flukes? How do they use uh, those? Now the tail flukes move up and down. He's gonna show you his tail flukes right now. <laughs> but that is the powerhouse of the dolphin. So as he swims by, you can see him pumping that tail. Like I said, they use those pectoral flippers for stopping and steering, so you got a good look at those brakes. Cammy, can you tell us about counter shading? Counter shading is a way that uh, marine animals can camouflage themselves out um, in their natural environment. So if you look at Nicholas's back, it's very dark, and that would protect him from predators looking down or if he's trying to sneak up on someone to eat himself. If you look at his belly, it's white. So anything looking up at Nicholas's belly is going to blend in with the surface of the water. So that is why they are number shaded. Cammy, yes. outstanding. <laughs> Nick, great job. Everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. It is Dolphin Awareness Much. Come see our special dolphins, Winter, Hope, and Nicholas, as well as our other rescued animals, turtles, pelicans, and otters. Check us out at seawinter.com. You can watch Nicholas 24-7 on our Nicholas webcam. We are literally half a mile from the number one beach in the U.S., which you can see right there. So enjoy the beach. Come see us. We have the sunset special. We're open. Extended hours. Learn more at seawinter.com.